How's it going guys? Gangster Prince are back with a brand new episode with a gangster plays and today we're playing Goosebumps. This is one from my childhood. Uh, the show, not the game. Never played the game. Uh, I've had it for a good bit and I I was uh, online uh, a couple days ago and I don't know how but I stumbled upon Goosebumps and and are you afraid of the dark? These were shows I watched as a child. I don't know. Are you afraid of the dark might be a little less known because it was a Canadian produced show. But Goosebumps was uh, a national show. So you might be more familiar with Goosebumps. But these are two shows that I watched as a child and fucked me up a lot. More so are you afraid of the dark? I was never a big Goosebumps kid. Um, I watched a few episodes, but I don't know. I, I always preferred Are You Afraid of the Dark? Uh, we're going to start playing this. I hope it's kind of scary. Name your character. We're just going to call it GP. Um, we'll go with a dude. All right. This is a point and click game, which I'm... Um, oh, hold on. I got to read this. This... Oh, shit. If you're that concerned, maybe try not to drop his stuff. Hey, for all we know, the lock got busted before I dropped it. I've heard that before. Whatever. Just finish packing up this junk and I'll head back for the... It's a little fast. Okay, so this is a point-and-click game. So, I... It's not really my wheelhouse of games, man. I don't play too many point-and-click games, so... This kind of like a first, kind of. I, I might count on one hand how many times I've played, uh... A point and click but I think it's the first one in, in uh, gangster plays that I've played okay now I'm gonna try and keep up with the dialogue even though it's kind of fast oh you know it's late everyone's asleep it's gotta be this better not be about the haunted car again oh it's real real maybe but not haunted well it seemed haunted at the time you can't scare me with that story already heard it a million times well good that's not even my hairiest uh, evil, evil genie. Heard that one. Okay, well. Zombies? Guess I told you a lot of these. We don't gotta talk the whole time, you know. What was that? Some of this is too fast. I can't, I can't even keep up with the dialogue. You gonna open it? Oh, I ain't opening it. You're the one... With all the scary adventures, but there's so much weird stuff in there. You saw it. Just open the door already. Oh, I know that scarecrow. I know that bottle of ooze there. I know the doll. Uh, I don't know any other ones. What is it? Some kid? Oh, it's the doll. I forgot his name. Ah, fuck, I forgot his name. Um, it's just a ventriloquist dummy. Yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> Who you calling dummy, dummy? I forgot his name, but he's creepy as shit. The next day. Finally, school's out for the day and you're ready for a pleasant walk home. Those clouds look pretty bad though. Was it supposed to rain today? You go to check the weather, but your cell phone appears to be missing. You must have left it somewhere, but where? You can examine your invent or environment by moving the cursor to an object or area by pressing the left mouse button, then looking on the drop-down. Okay, so let's try this. There is the sky. That is your verb menu. Okay, cool. You can look directly by pressing Q or E. Um, let's look at this guy. Great cloud shroud the area under a threat of rain. Wasn't it clear this morning? Hold on, there's a thing to click. I had it over here. Whatever, it was there, it went away. Um, so yeah, I used to watch Goosebumps as a, sh as a kid. Loved it. Like I said, I was bigger. Are you afraid of the dark? Because... I don't know, I just thought, like, the Goosebumps wasn't as scary, in my opinion. You push the door open. Will you ever escape this place? Well, let's go in. Um, with a heavy sigh, you trudge back inside. See, I always enjoyed Are You Afraid of the Dark better, because, like, I thought it was scarier, but it was weird, because, like, it would 
there was things that would freak me out. But for some reason, I loved watching these shows. The long, empty hallway stretches into the distance. You stop near your locker, trusty 402. Open. Shouldn't be too hard to do. You just need the key from your book bag. That is this thing. Use. This isn't your locker. You said 402. Use locker and key? Yes. You turn. What the fuck? It just said it doesn't work. You turn the key and, and the lock pops open easily. You slide it off and open your locker. Uh, we need cell phone, right? I think cell phone. You grab your cell phone and cradle it protectively against your chest. You were afraid you'd lost it. After a moment, you calm down and check the phone. Yep, it's still fully charged somehow. Looks like you have a voicemail. You click play. Hi, GP. It's Mom. Just want to let you know I'll be home later on. On I'll be home all, later on tonight. The clients want to take us to dinner. Chad should be coming home pretty soon, so you will need to fend for yourselves. Remember the keys under the back steps. Love you. It's a lot of goddamn dialogue. Let's take a book. You have to few books at a locker. Realize how much space they take up in your bag. You feel like you might need the bag space and put the books back where you need them. Uh, stickers, no. More stickers, I guess. Who's this babe here, dude? I guess we're good in the locker. Uh, there are multiple ways to move between areas. Try holding down on the arrow keys to exit the hallway. I'm doing it, nothing's happening. You slam the locker shut. Can we go in the bathroom? Let's knock. Let's see who's there. Three loud knocks echo through the hall. What in the world do you want? It sounds like Miss Tooley. Can't a woman read in peace? You quietly slink away from the door, hoping she didn't see you. Okay. Uh, you gladly leave the school building for the second time today. So yeah, Goosebumps was a good show. I, there's one I remember specifically, mainly because I had the VHS. But it was the the girl. I think it was one of the first episodes. It was a two-parter or three-parter. There was this one episode where um, uh, the gate's still open. Blah blah blah. With your phone in hand, you can now head home. Your phone has map function. Cool. Uh, like my brother, information received very since. A lot of goddamn dialogue. I wish there was some. I didn't want to look at that. I wish there was uh, some voice actor. School parking lot is nearly empty as most of the school's gone home. You can faintly hear the football team practicing through the block. Um, so yeah, there was one ep there was two episodes on the VHS. One was some kids they go to like this haunted uh, haunted place. I don't know where. It's like some museum type thing, and then this like executioner guy tries to kill them, and. Um, and then the other episode was the creepy episode where this girl, she gets bullied at school and then she buys this mask and the mask starts to uh, combine with her into her face. It was really cool. You splash around the key creek. Your shoes, socks, and pants are so great. You also kind of smell funny now. But yeah, those that episode I remember... Oh, are we expecting a troll? Oh, there's a poster here, dude. I didn't even see this. You pull the flyer from the tree just in case you find a similar dog. An item was added to your inventory. Blah, blah, blah. See, that's one of the things I don't like about point-and-click games, because I feel like I could miss a lot of stuff. I want to actually look at the goddamn poster, whatever. Like, I feel like it's more of a puzzle game where you got to kind of... Pay attention to what's on the screen, because you'll kind of miss something. Uh, here's a creepy zombie-looking man. Anyways, but that episode of uh, Goosebumps, where the chick gets the face and the mask, it's a green mask. I think her name's Carrie Ann or something? Because I remember she's screaming her name at the end. Uh, we'll talk more about Goosebumps in a second. You reach a small clearing surrounded by trees on all sides. There's a weird guy creeping around. You've never seen him before. Uh, Stranger Danger. Should we talk to him? 
Uh, yeah, talk, whatever. You start to ask them. You start to ask the man if he's lost, but he grunts at you unintelligibly. Fine, sir. Do you want to be a dickhead? That'll be fine. Um, hold on. There's a map. Um. Okay, that didn't really help me out. We're gonna go right. Cause right is right is right. Right is right. I don't know for some reason. He spins on you with inhuman speed. Holy. Dude, that scared the shit out of me. Your vision blurs as the plant creature's vine tightens around your neck. You struggle, but it's too late. You're already dead. Awesome. Uh, how much do I have to replay? Okay, just here. Okay, hold on. Yeah, go to the bridge. Okay, so if we try... To go this way, he's gonna kill us again, right? Yes, okay. Should do we go back? Hmm. Didn't really want fucking puzzles and shit. Hold on. Jog back to school, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's a path here on the right. Can we take that? Hey, here we go. Dusty path. Oh, this is a janitor's shed. What the fuck? By the time you reach the shed, the wind's picked up quite a bit. Your cheeks sting from the cold. Okay, uh, let's take the weed killer. Oh, that's probably for the thing. Yeah. Hit it. Ouch, you slam your fist against the lock, resulting only in bloody knuckles. Awesome. Uh, so yeah. Really enjoyed. Lay up good. Are You Afraid of the Dark is great. I think some of the episodes still hold up, in my opinion. Uh, Goosebumps? Not too much. There's only, like I said, there's only a few episodes that come to mind when I think Goosebumps. I think, um, that mask episode, I think an episode where there's this, like, blob thing on a plane. And... You'd we yes. On a hunch, he raised the weed killer and pumped the trigger three times, spraying the strange figure. He recoils violently as his face... He, it hits his face, smoke rises from the wounds, and you smell some... something like freshly cut grass. Hey, he retreats to the foot of the hill before falling down and cowering. Awesome. Fucking monster. Um, let's go... Well, maybe he's normal now? He doesn't seem to be particularly interested. Uh, we'll go right. So, there's this blob thing. On, like, a plane or something. I feel like that was a two-parter episode. There's something else. Um, there's this episode where there's, like, this librarian. Or teacher or something. At night, he becomes, like, this creature. And he, uh... He eats bugs. It played in the intro for like a very long time. I think it was always in the intro of the uh, of the show, but that was one that I remembered quite a bit. Uh, another one was like there was a superhero one where there was this kid. He's coming home from yeah, he's coming home from school on a bus, and he sees this magical building appear, and he. Uh, I think that's the way I gotta go, but we'll see what these this crowd is up to. We'll talk about that thing in a second. You ask what's going on, but Tyler Alice just glares you down. Mind your own business. All right then. Have a good day. Hold on. Those trees. So which way do we come from? We came from down, so I guess we'll go up. So there's this building that appears when he's coming home from school on the bus, and he's like, whoa. And he's into comics and shit, right? And let's pick some flowers. Hey, we got a blue rose. Um, can we take the hose too? Oh, uh, it's now all over your pants. Got bloody knuckles, water on my pants. It's not a good day. Um, so there's this building and he's like, you know, one day he's like, you know what, I'm gonna fucking go into this building. So he goes in and there's this her, this um, superhero and supervillain, they're fighting. Come to find out, Adam West was the superhero in it. I watched it a couple years later and I was like, holy shit, that's Adam West. 
and it was uh, it was super cool. But that's an episode that I always. Uh, okay, I don't know if we should take that. Uh, it always. Uh, oh, we're gonna die. It always. Oh, it didn't manage. Okay, cool. Uh, it always stuck in my in my mind, and I think this scarecrow thing. I think I've seen an episode with it as well, uh, but for some reason I thought it was. Are you afraid of the dark? Spin the globe. It spins and spins before coming to a stop at Transylvania. Ooh, spooky. <sighs> Do we have to? Do we actually need all this stuff? I'm picking up all this shit. But, like, do we need it? There's the canister. I think that's the green goo I was talking about earlier. It, like, just gets bigger and bigger and fucking just consumes everything. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this shrunken head? You hold it, it feel it vibrate slightly in your hand. Oh, God. You go increasingly dizzy and decide to put it away. What if I combine it with the hat? That'd be weird. You know what? Let's try. You place the hat on your head, but it's too small and guess there's no stage magic in your future. Oh, I, I think I remember that episode, actually. It has something to do with some kid getting turned into a bunny? If that's the episode I'm thinking of... I think so. But yeah, are you afraid of the dark? I had better... It was, it was way scarier. Um... I want to talk about this, but I feel like I have to read all this fucking dialogue so I can't talk about Goosebumps. It's making me mad. Uh, sleepy neighborhood street. You're surprised people don't seem more concerned about the accident. You know, it's whatever, man. Uh, let's go right. Okay, we're gonna go right. Yeah. Okay, I don't really care. We got all the stuff we need. So the only option we got is down. So we're not even supposed to be here. Yeah, I guess go down. Whatever. You feel like you shouldn't be here? Blah, blah, blah. What are we supposed to do now? Let me take a look at a map. I need the map. Map. I need the map. Map. I need to go over here, I think. Okay, we're gonna go back down the hill. Wait, yeah, are you... F oh, there's the bunny! Oh, there's the bunny! That's a kid, I think. There was also the Goosebumps show that came out, or, uh, that came, like, a couple years ago. It was aight. It was aight. Yeah, you know, I liked it. Uh, you kneel down, look in the rabbit's eyes. Hey there, little fella. Hmm, says the rabbit, to your surprise. I thought some, those brutes would never leave. With a flash of white, the rabbit disappears into the brush. Brush? I think it, I think it said brush. Uh, I guess we're gonna go in this pipe tunnel. You creep into the tunnel, an unnatural darkness closing in around you. Halfway through, you wonder if you'll make it. Also, I kind of get confused about episodes in Goose of Goosebumps and Are You Afraid of the Dark? Because they kind of all blend together. It's like, it's hard to differentiate sometimes. I just jumped in a big black hole, it's probably not smart. You fall for what seems like hours. Falling, falling, this might have been a mistake. Am I dead? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was worth a try, you know, there's a giant thing, you know. I wanna, I wanna jump in a hole. Um, so let's not jump in the hole. I think we go this way. You you're, you steal your nerves and push on. There is an accident in here. This wash runs behind many of the houses of near street. You can usually find all sorts of weird junk that people have thrown here. Actually, some of the some of the episodes that freaked me out. Like I said, Goosebumps wasn't as scary in my opinion, um, but Are You Afraid of the Dark was fucking scare the shit out of me. One in particular haunted me for years. And it's it's a really stupid thing, which makes me even more angry about it, because it was just so 
fucking dumb of why it freaked me out. I'm gonna try and either get a clip of that thing or a picture and I'm gonna try and like put it in this video so you guys can see and uh, see what creeped me out. <laughs> the speed of light divided by the speed of sound <laughs> equals <laughs> five. Five minutes left. <laughs> okay, hopefully there's like a picture or video showing. I'm gonna have to do that in post-production, but um, it's this virus thing. Holy creepy dog. Hello, Fluffy. What the heck? You take so large, ugh, several large g gasps and try to calm down. That dog attacked as soon as you entered your neighborhood. Thank goodness it's on a leash. That is like my dog, honestly. Uh, people can't get close because he will just freak the fuck out. Uh, we got coupons. Gotta need some coupons, man. You know, you slip the coupons in your bag. Take the letter. Cool. Okay, so now we got two things of items in our inventory. I don't even know if half of them are like we need. Let's talk to the woman. You nervously stammer hello to the woman who d turns a disinterested eye in your direction. Sorry about the dog. She looks to have given you quite the fright. Ask about the dog. Uh, oh no, I'm okay. What breed of dog is she anyway? Poodle and something else? Oh, Fifi, yeah, she's a rare subbreed of poodle. One prone to temperament problems. I guess that's that's uh that's my dog. I think he's got a little poodle in him. He's got a bunch of shit in him. Beagle, I think poodle. Not like a poodle like this, but I don't know, he's a little piece of garbage. He's an asshole. Uh what kind of problems? Is she dangerous? Goodness no, not to you, not at this moment. But who can say for certain a dog can escape its leash, for example? Do take care. The pair continue their walk down the street. Oh well, goodbye. Um, so this thing that creeped me out was this fucking virus looking piece of shit. It's called virus. That's literally what it's called, uh, in the show. But it's basically this short fucking person, or I was gonna say midget, but I think that's problematic. Um, this short person, and he... Let's shake the camera. Hey, there's the uh, spare key. I knew that hole looked suspicious. Take the spare key. Cool. Um, so there's this creepy fucking uh, virus looking thing. And for some reason, it haunted my dreams, man. I could not escape it. It bought... I, like... It makes me angry of, like, how much it freaked me out. But I remember one day, I was just like, I just screamed, like, Fuck you. I'm not afraid of you because you're not real. And after that, I stopped being scared of it. But until then, um, before then, it uh, freaked the living shit out of me. And it's, it's something that would scare me as a child. And I fucking hate it because it was just the stupidest thing. Just absolutely dumb as shit. But I I couldn't I couldn't not be scared of this. Uh, here's a creepy house too. The large house reaches up toward the ominous sky. It's twisted windows, portals to madness. This is your address, but this is definitely not the home you left this morning. Oh, this is my house. You walk to the window, attempt to slide it open, it won't budge. I don't want to enter this fucking house. I guess we got to, though. Uh, let's open it. You struggle with the knob, but it's not budging. You mu Oh, yeah, I forgot. I need a key. You slip your house key into the lock and cross your fingers. You turn the key and, op and the door is open. Maybe it's your house after all. Also, if, you, if you're a friend of Are You Afraid of the Dark, then you know the name Sardo. S on the Sardo, or like, whatever, however you'd explain it. But that was great. I love that character. You pull open the heavy door, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we're in a nice, creepy house. Excellent. 
This is without a doubt not your house. Mom would never let the entryway get this dirty. You can smell the dust and decay in the air. Who the fuck says decay? Hey, my house smells like decay. It smells like someone died in here. What the fuck? You can feel a strange energy around it and assume it's locked for the time being. Uh, do we go upstairs? Anything to interact with? I guess we'll go into the archway, the creepy archway. You hurry across the foyer to the dining room. Who is this? You step into the dining room and spring back, immediately noticing a woman at the table. She eyes you intently like a hawk searching for prey. I'm gonna drink... Ah, no, I'm not gonna drink that prune juice. <laughs> I was going to. A toothy grin spreads across the woman's face before she speaks. There you are, GP. Come give me a big kiss. Her name's Crone, apparently. Uh, give kiss. No way. Taken aback by her forward request, you are unsure what to say. I'm not French, man. I don't kiss. Hello. You shake your head. Aw, oh, is that any way to treat your Aunt Delilah? Well, Aunt Delilah, you're creepy as shit and you've kind of spooked my house. Should I apologize? Fine, we'll apologize. Sorry, Aunt Delilah. That's okay, child. Sit and have some prune juice. Your loving aunt saved for you. I'm full, man. You know, no thanks. I'm not. I'm not thirsty. There you go. Perfectly all right. Maybe later. Aunt Delilah relaxes in her chair and rests her chin casually on her hand. Let's talk for a bit. How is school today? Uh, we'll give details. There's a lot going on. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> well, there's this kid, Brandon, in my English class. He used to be okay, but lately he's telling people things that aren't true. You ramble on for several more minutes. And it's like, if that's how you feel, just tell me to my face. I don't have time for all the drama. <laughs> really open- You know what? Let's really open up. Glad to have a sympathetic ear, you begin to confide in Aunt Delilah. I just want to be taken seriously, you know. It's so hard at this age, but after a very thorough dissection of your social circle, you realize you haven't given Aunt Delilah any time to inter interject. I'm just going to keep talking. We're just going to keep going and going. You assume if she had anything to add, she'd speak up. You continue. So Valerie, the girl who always wears hats, we had art together last year, but lately... Time passes as you talk, and you notice Aunt Delilah starting to nod off. Her eyes are half open, and she's not really focused on you. Continue. <laughs> no reason to stop while you're on a roll. You keep talking, diving into the first subject that comes to your mind. Your voice echoes strangely down the adjacent hallways of the otherwise silent house. Oh, she's out. Your story is rudely interrupted by a loud, sharp snort. Aunt Delilah is asleep. Snoring, in fact. You weigh your options. Oh, I'm gonna wake her up, yeah. Rude of her to just doze off after forcing you to have a conversation. No reason to be polite about it. You pull her arms back, then swing them forward as hard as you can, bringing together your open palms in an enormous clap. Oh, uh, Del Del uh, Delilah. Del Dahlia? I think it's Dahlia. I don't think it's Delilah. So I think Delilah would have two L's. So Dahlia, glance the black Dahlia. That's a an unsolved mystery. There's a whole thing. Black Delilah, D Dahlia. If you're interested, it's a very interesting uh, story. Glances around feverishly. Eventually, she notices you. I think I might just call it Delilah still because Dahlia is just it's too weird of a word to remember to say. Sorry, child, I must have dozed off. Why don't you come back a little bit later once Dahlia has had a chance to collect herself? Alright, dude. It's been, uh, it's been real. I'm gonna go down this hallway. Cause, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I need to know what's in this hallway. We got video games, my dude. And a thing glowing blue. That is a creepy looking clown! Look at that fucking clown dead center of the screen! Look how fucking creepy that is. Holy shit. Uh, the den is where your family gathers to watch TV or just hang out together. 
You don't want to hang out in this version for too long, though. Okay. Uh, we're gonna take this, this film. Because it's blue, it obviously means it's important. You'll tuck it away, maybe you'll find a camera later. Nice hinting. Uh, let's test it. You push and pull several books to check for secret passages, but no luck, no such luck. The most you found was a paper cut. Aw. Uh, that'd be awesome if it fucking opened up. Uh, let's turn on the TV. Press power, nothing happens, just sounds. Can we play? Aren't there enough video games in your life right now? I want to play a video game in a video game. You move in for a closer look at the clock. Oh. Um. Is there something specific here? These little taps seem to mark different years. They demonstrate just how old this clock really is. I don't think there's anything to it. Can we look at the creepy clown? There's something hanging on the wall, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we can take. Take the remote? Sure. Just fucking take everything. We're a kleptomaniac. That mummy, I think, is part of Goosebumps. I think these are little Easter eggs for things that are in Goosebumps. Is I, I think it is. You pass through the next room. We are in the laundry room. It is an oddly welcome sight. At first glance, it appears exactly like you left it, the other than an extra door. I mean, I guess it's the one in front of us that's glowing blue. Uh, the dryer is running at the moment. Anything? Why would I smell? Why is there a smell option? Ugh! Let's open up the dryer. It won't budge. Hold on, I need to look at the map again. Hold on. This place is fucking huge. So, we, yeah, we haven't even gone upstairs. Holy shit. Um, we'll go through this door. This is probably to the back where we saw. Where we got the key. Yeah, okay. I don't know, access, yeah, blah, blah, okay. Now we have X. the whole house is now open. Uh, I do want to go in this creepy blue room, but part of me does not. Hold on, what's in here? Noticing the bathroom is locked, you knock on the door, there's no response. Okay, let's try the creepy closet door that's to another world. You open the door, you get to find out what the new room could be. Fine. You step away from your safe, normal laundry room and step into. Oh my god, this looks like garbage. You stand at the foot of infinity. Well, I'm gonna take this. Some more, some more film. Can I have the Rubik's Cube? Nope. Uh, where can we go from here? I don't think there's anything. I think we can only leave. You drift away. Uh, fairly standard laundry room, blah blah blah. Okay, so we'll go... Back. Then we'll go back again. Then we'll go... Right. You duck into the kitchen. Kitchen seems normal enough. Kitchen looks like a period piece. From a time you want nothing to do with, you immediately notice a dripping sound. You strain to hear the source of the dripping. It's so faint it'll be hard to find it. Yeah, you'll never know what a dripping sound comes from. You struggle to think of ways to make it louder. You want to track down the drip, but you need to increase its volume. I think the game thinks I'm borderline dumb as shit. And that is not the case, game. Not today. Oh! Is that the potato thing? 
There's like this potato or sponge thing that becomes sentient. I think this is it. I think it's... I think it is, uh... Part of Goosebumps. Uh, what is this? It is a talisman. Sure, we got a talisman. Fucking trunken head. What else do we got? We got the creepy... This is a creepy sponge. I remember. It has teeth or something. From the fucking show. You just gotta trust me on this one. I know it sounds ridiculous. But, it's not. Oh, we got grape jelly. And purple drink. My favorite. Purple stuff. Sure, take the purple stuff. It's purple drink, as Dave Chappelle said. I want that purple drink. I love Dave Chappelle. Awesome comedian. Um, okay, so we need... This in here. Graham, a perfectly good dish soap, but a terrible way to retrieve an object from a drain. Uh, ch 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 so we gotta get something out of the drain. Battery's getting low. Um,. What is this? Can we? No, we can't look at it. Maybe put jelly? Let's put some jelly down there. Grab yeah, pretty good jelly, but not... Hmm. Maybe the talisman? Talisman kind of has a hook to it. I have a terrible... I don't... I have no idea. Maybe purple stuff? Oh, drink it. Hold on. It's a... <laughs> that's a good way to grind up a perfectly good purple stuff. <laughs> Let's drink it. You decide there's only one way to determine what this is. You tip the bottle to your mouth and sip gingerly. Prune juice, maybe. Your vision grows cloudy, blah, 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 over you. You feel incredibly weak. Wrinkles stretch rapidly across your hands and arms. Oh. So that stuff makes people old? Because she took it. I gotta get all that shit again? Really? Okay, I don't know what to do with this sink. Hold on, what did it say? You peer into the drain leading to the garbage disposal. There's something else down there. Something shiny. I don't know what I can put down there, though. I don't know. We're not gonna drink the purple drink. Because, uh, it makes us old. But now we have purple drink, so in case Dave Chappelle happens to appear randomly, we could be like, hey Dave, we got purple drink! Now we got some creepy kids in here. Yikes, three children materialize before your eyes, which you are rubbing in disbelief. This really is a haunted house. Let's talk to young boy. I want to hear the song, but I can't find it. He digs his foot into the carpet. If I look, I'll wake mom and dad. What about you, blonde boy? Oh, come on. I live here, you know. I hate going into the basement. You continue to believe me, don't you? Yeah, basements are always freaky. An angry girl. No sooner do you look at her, she starts shouting. You're not supposed to be here. Get out of my house. Strangers aren't allowed. Go away, go away, go away! She glares, willing you out of existence. Can't fool me. She grumbles, I was born on a leap year. I know things. Okay, you fucking weirdo. Uh, can we go in yet? Please? Nope. Creepy basement is still locked. I'm gonna assume it's a basement because it's all creepy and shit. We're gonna go upstairs. There's no creepy ghost children in my house. What do we got here? The staircase connects the first and second floor of the house. Why is there... Hold on. You return to the first floor. Okay. So go here. Now where does the right lead? You turn to the top of the stairs heading to the landing. Those are the kids' ghosts in those pictures. We'll come back to this. Hold on. 
Now what's on the left side? You tramp up the stairs to the first hallway. Okay, cool. The music got really faint now. Like, I can't hear shit. It seems like the music's becoming more and more faint. I didn't turn it down, but we'll turn it up. Because it's becoming very weird now, you know? It's kind of disturbing me. Uh, there's no audio. It's all super faint, dude. Okay, we're gonna come up here. I'm hauling to the furthest reaches of the house. Okay, cool. Um, let's look at the portraits. Strange, you look familiar. Mm. Okay, we're not gonna go in that one. We're gonna go in this one. Nope, that one's creepy. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, frame seems a little warped. I feel like we're just gonna get murdered. Dodging a bit, falling plaster. Okay. Oh god, we're about to be murdered. The hatch in the ceiling could lead to the attic. It sounds like the walls are moving. Hit the pipe. You hear ringing from the pipe and in your ears. Pain rings up your arm too. You hear a dull grinding all around you. It's coming from the walls. Because the walls are closing in. Uh, I'm gonna die, right? There's no doubt about it. The room is shrinking. Can we try now? Too high. So, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm fucked. I'm starting to think we probably should have had to go to the other room. Before, or like the other parts of the house before this. I think we're just gonna get crushed to death, honestly. Is it? It's making sounds like it's... Oh, we can leave. Okay. Uh, down the farthest. So if I go in, is it still moving in? To the shrinking room. Because it's making sounds like the, the walls are still moving in. I don't know. We'll explore the other parts of the house. And then we'll come back to this. Maybe we need a ladder or something. I will say... My throat is starting to hurt. Oh shit, look at all, look at these drag marks. Yeah, these markings. What made this? Uh, my throat is starting to hurt. Because like I've done so much... I've just done so much talking. Because there's so much reading in this. Uh, I'm not used to talking this much. It's been a while since I've talked this much. Not saying that I don't talk normally, but I don't... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I mean by that. I, I mean, I don't talk as much as I do in, uh... Than I have. This is a more exception... Not exceptional. This is a more talk-heavy episode. There's not... I feel like someone's on the other side holding it shit. This go away. Hmm. So there's a thing in the drain. I'm trying to piece stuff to get. Maybe this can give me a hint. Call. I need. A, I need a hint. You dial four one one, hoping for some information. Thank you for calling information. Due to an unexpectedly large call volume, all our operators are busy. Please use our automated system to seek out the answer to your question. Uh, what do I need? Selection, I guess? It's selection. We as a species are constantly selection things. Might be nice if we speak up the natural act of selection. Good news, there is. Of click, but sometimes... Oh yeah, Q and E. Hmm. That interacts with other stuff. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, so so Q, it's only focusing on the one. Hmm. Uh, walk back. I'm gonna look at the map. So this is what I hate about 
these kind of games is like you get stuck super easily because you have to hmm maybe there's something in the infinite I'm not sure but the kids the room why are these red Ugh, I'm stuck so I, I, yeah that's why I hate these kind of games because like you get stuck so easily Open the pantry, reach up, open the cupboard. Oh, shit, here we go. Fuck. I would have never looked in there unless I was just clicking around. Now, there is a panel in here, right? Maybe we open the panel? Maybe we need a screwdriver. What is this? P purple peanut butter. What is this purple peanut butter for? Uh, one way it tastes kind of been just purple. Awesome. Is there anything I can use to prop this... This panel? Maybe this? Pry it open? Well, there is that... That, uh, back in the forest, there was that thing we could dig. God damn, I hate these fucking games. Getting me mad now. Okay, my only instinct right now is to go and dig the hole because that's the only thing I can think of I got a trophy or an achievement you're not plant food and it popped up with the talisman and the achievement so maybe this is right you cut through the trees okay so we're... what the hell is that a very large creature has appeared in the clearing. It seems to be grinning as it rubs its front paws together excitedly. I feel like he's gonna murder us? Talisman, maybe? The talisman trophy did pop up. Okay, he killed me. Looks like you lost your game with the beast from the east. Don't feel too bad, it's a high level adversary. Of course, the one... Uh, it makes me mad. The one idea I had to dig the hole... It uh, is blocked by this stupid looking thing. Let's try talking to it. You're it. I'm excited to play a game. Can't wait. So hungry. Well, maybe he wants food. Maybe purple drink. We give him purple drink? Would you like purple drink? Not like purple drink. Hmm. What if we actually give him peanut butter? Let's try peanut butter. If peanut butter doesn't work, we're gonna have to figure something out. Alright. Purple peanut butter. He murdered me again. Okay. You know what? Let's try calling people. <laughs> uh call. Let's call the mom. You call your mother and the phone rings twice before she picks up. Hi there, make sure to check the mail. Something for your father's birthday. Please take a look in the mailbox where you walk by. Thank you. Okay. I don't even remember. So it was his letter, right? Let's look. They don't recognize the name. Must be a past resident. I'd love to read it so I know, like, what it says. So maybe I give it to someone or something. Coupons, you know. Uh, I was gonna call the brother. Let's call the brother. Okay, call him Brosif. We've reached Chad, except you also missed Chad. Sorry. I'm probably busy doing other blah, 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 whatever it is. You could, like, leave a message. That'd be cool. I might call back if I remember. Okay, so that's been not helpful. Two hours later. I don't know. I, I give up, honestly. I, I have no idea what to do. None at all. You got me, game. You broke me. I don't know what the fuck to do. What are these coupons for? I have no idea. Maybe we combine one of these things. If so, nothing looks combinable. What do I combine a dinosaur with, huh? Do I combine it with dish soap? What does that do? I don't know. I don't know. I'm done. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna be so pissed when I find out that uh, it was such a simple answer, but I could not think of it. I just can't. I, 
yeah, I'm I'm tapping out. I'm done. I uh, I tried, and uh, I just could not figure this out. It's a tough ass game. That's gonna be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed Goosebumps. If you uh, if you watch Goosebumps or even are you afraid of the dark, what was your favorite episode? Let me know in the comment section. I am gonna go look up a guide. Because I have no idea. So yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be on the lookout for some more new stuff. And as always, catch me next time. And until then, guys, peace out.